Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 13, problems about comparing and elapsed time problems. When, doing compare, when we're comparing the size of two groups, we often will use, uh, so we're often asking how many more are in the first group or how many fewer are in the second group. Okay? We use a subtraction for this. And how we do it is we do the greater number minus the lesser number equals the difference. So here I have, there were 324 girls and 289 boys in the school. How many fewer boys than girls were there at the school? So I'm going to use this pattern. I'm going to take the bigger number, the greater number, 324, and minus the lesser number, 289 to figure out the difference. Okay. When we subtract, we need to stack it on top of each other. The numbers on top. Okay. We need to borrow 14. 14 minus 9 is 5. Borrow. 11 minus 8 is 3. So there were 35 fewer boys at the school than girls. Here I have the population of Castor is 26,290. The population of Weston is 18,962. How many more people lived in Castor than live in Weston? So this again is a greater minus lesser equals our difference. So we're going to take the 26,290 and minus the 18,962. We need to borrow. 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 minus 6 is 2. Borrow. 12 minus 9 is 3, comma. And borrow. 15 minus 8 is 7. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So there are 7,328 more people in Castor than in Weston. Another type of subtraction problem is called an elapsed time. When we're trying to figure out how much time has passed. To solve this one, again, it's a subtraction problem. And we have the later year, or the, the year that's the biggest, minus the earlier year is going to equal my difference. So this question is asking how many years were there from the year Columbus landed in America in 1492 to the year the Pilgrims landed in 1620. So the later year is 1620. And I'm going to minus the earlier year, 1492. Okay, and this is going to tell me how many years there are between the two events. So I need to borrow. 10 minus 2 is 8, borrow again, 11 minus 2, sorry, 11 minus 9 is 2, and 5 minus 4 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So there were 128 years between these two events. All right, so here we have Abraham Lincoln was born in 1809 and died in 1865. How many years did he live? Again, this is an elapsed time. So I'm going to do 1865 minus 1809. So the later year minus the earlier year. So I need to borrow. 15 minus 9 is 6. 5 minus 0 is 5. 8 minus 8 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. So he was only 56 years old when he died. And that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.